Well, Jason Hetland here, 2016 RFD TVZ American Luke Branquino. You know, there's a lot of things, and you see that patch right up there, the ERA patch. There's a lot of misconceptions about why the formation of the ERA, and a lot of talk that, you know, they call it elite rodeo athletes, and a lot of speculation. So let's clear that up, and let's talk about the ERA a little bit, as you're one of the great founding members. Yeah, you know, what, what really gets me is the complete misunderstanding of the reason we started. You know, we started this for the future of rodeo, the betterment of rodeo, just to, to take rodeo hopefully to a new level. And we tried to work with the PRCA prior to any of this going on, and that's when the top cowboys branched off said, we need to do something that'll, that'll make rodeo better, you know, not for ourselves. And that's what pe a lot of people are thinking. It's, well, it's just a, a, a retirement league for you guys. No, that's not the case, you know. I got into this saying, if I can't help make it better for the future, and I'm not talking about myself, my future. I'm talking about the guys right behind me. Blaine Jones, a kid I travel with, he's 25 years old. I want to see him have the most opportunity he can. And if we could bring new venues, new sponsors, you know, that's just more money for the Cowboy to win. And that was the whole purpose of this. And, and hopefully be similar to the PBR. You know, those guys have a chance to ride for a lot of money and a finals that is phenomenal and, and I'm not taking anything away from the, the national finals because they did a great job getting the money right but just trying to get more venues more sponsors you know if I don't make any money as an investor on this but I know the sport got bettered by it that that's all I'm in it for and that's I want to see my kids have a chance to have a chance to make money maybe not be away from home as much that's going to be their choice they're going to be able to go wherever they want but that was the whole that was the whole purpose of the era to make rodeo better for the future and and hopefully people will be able to understand that the further along we go with it Absolutely, and, and let's touch on it, and uh, you don't have to go into specifics if you don't want to, but there's been a lot of talk around the rodeo industry and the rodeo fans and a lot of speculation as to what's going to happen with the ERA, with the lawsuit, and, you know, the, the, the announcement of the tickets being on sale and everything else, but the sponsorships and the, the title sponsors have not been talked about a lot, and people are wondering if there are actual sponsors on the docket right now. Well, you know, fortunately for the fans, uh, I, I let all I let all the uh, the internal work for that happen. I don't I stay out of that. I let the um, you know the people running everything handle that. But fortunately for the fans, they do, shouldn't matter who the title sponsor is. They're going to get a great event, a great venue, and they're going to get to see the very best cowboys compete. You know, with quality TV and and a quality venue and. And right now, I'm not worried about the sponsors. I know the leadership is going to take care of that and, and get all that handled. So you know, whatever sponsors are out there, I encourage them to come, just like everybody on my shirt. They're going to get great TV coverage. And anytime you get that, that's that's the most value you can get out of your contestant. So you got the Yeti cooler on your shirt. That means when you win the $100 million, you got enough coolers in your horse trailer. So that's coming to Minnesota with me, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, Yeti's, <laughs> Yeti came on board last year, and, and they've been a great partner, just like everybody on my shirt. You know, I've been very blessed to have some of the very best sponsors in the industry. And fortunately for me, some of them weren't approved by the PRCA. You know, Cinch never was able to be in, uh, Ariat Boots, just just to name a, a couple. So I'm proud to be able to wear their, their logos in the arena now where I wasn't able to at the other events. Cinch, that brings up a good point. First ever Cinch shootout this last December over at the Orleans, the same time as the NFR. With this ERA ruling, it's going to bring a whole new dynamic to next year's uh, Cinch shootout. Do you know anything about that that you can leak to us? You know, I don't. I know uh, it was a great event. I was over there. Uh, Cinch did a great job along with Boyd Gaming producing that event, and I just look for it to get bigger and better as the years go on. Awesome. I know you're busy, so I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hetland here, the RodeoRoundup.com. We're figuring out all the logistics of the ERA with your five-time world champion, Luke Branquino.